Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn some of the important string functions. So let's start the video. So let's begin with the string functions. First of all, we'll understand few string functions. The first one is uppercase. That is, it would be written as upper. So this function converts all the characters of a string into uppercase. Okay, coming over to the next one. The next one is U case. U case is actually similar as uppercase. It's just that it is another way of writing upper. Or you similar, or you can say um, this is a sign for similar. Okay, no issues. I'll similar or even you can say ditto as upper. Coming over to the next one. The next one is lower. It converts all the characters to lowercase. Okay. Coming over to the next one, the next one is L case. Again, same as lower. Just another way of writing lower. Coming on to the next one, the next one is length. As the name suggests, it will tell you the length of the string. Tell you the length of the string. Coming over to the next one, again, car length. Same. There is one more way of writing car length. That is, you can straight away write character length. That also will give you the same thing. Okay. Same as previous. Coming over to the next one. The next one is concat. As most of the programmers might be familiar with this word. This is fully known as concatenation. Now, if you don't know concatenation, I'll do one thing. I'll explain you a little bit what is concatenation. So, concatenation is nothing but adding characters in the string one by one. Adding characters. I hope you'll understand. Characters one by one in the string. Okay, so that is what is concatenation. So, this function actually is used to say add characters or you can say merge strings. Coming over to the next one. The next is concat ws. It is also similar to concat but has a slight difference. That difference I will tell you when I will do the demo part. Coming over to the next one. The next one is L trim. So, this function as the name suggests, it 
trims or you can say deletes empty spaces on the left of the string coming on to the next one the next one is r trim again it is just the opposite or you can say it trims or deletes empty spaces on the right of the string next one is trim so it actually trims spaces on both sides that is left and right so you can say it is a mixture of l trim plus r trim okay coming on to the next one what is the next one next one is position tells you the position of a certain sorry certain character or string next one is locate it is similar as position but it has a different syntax i n s t r again similar as locate or say you can say position but different syntax okay this is done let's move on to the demo part workbench okay uh, do we have any kind of database available here in db is there any table yes there is a table let's see what table is that uh, select from students uh, hope so this will work okay no database selected okay no issues use db okay so this was the data we were having okay now let's do one thing we'll start one by one so what was the first thing that is uppercase okay now let's display this so select id and write upper and in upper put name comma age from students see all the names of my students have been put inside or you can say have been switched to uppercase and now you might be seeing that uh, here it is written upper and then name is written this is because we haven't provided any name to this new column okay so we can provide it Mm, say name okay this will work like this so what was our next one next one was u case again the same thing see again the same result as the previous one now let's come on to the next one 
next one was lower see all the characters have been converted into lower case alphabets <coughs> coming on to the next one that is l case see both of them lower and l case both of them have the same functionalities let's come over to the next one let's see what is our next it's done okay next one is length so what do we want in total we say i want length but now remember one thing when we are putting this like length and name and age so now what will happen the names won't be displayed because we are making a new column in which we want to display the length only we have called for length so it will display the length of shahid okay so it won't display the name we can check it also see the names are not getting printed for that we need to do one more thing we need to write name once again name and then length and uh, you can write it as length only or you can say length now see name length is six sid length is four okay even if you give spaces in between these strings that spaces would also be counted um let's take one example say for in the previous one only i'll do one thing use db insert into students giving some error yeah it is completely yeah, unknown values so what would be the values we'll be giving so first of all what is the original table it is id name and age right so id let the id be what was the last id 10 so we'll give it 11 and uh, name be shanta and then a sing okay uh, next one be 25 okay let's execute this one one row has been affected okay so first of all before this i'll display you the new table select star from students see this is my original table this is giving dot because the name is too large no issues now we'll comment this out okay now run this one see the length is coming out to be 12 i'll show you how it is 12 so 1 is s 2 is h and 3 is a i'll do one thing i'll show you on the whiteboard only come over here so we have taken shanta sing shanta space sing so now how it is 1 2 3 this is 4 this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, the space is also counted, I told you. This is 8, this is 9, this is 10, this is 11 and this is 12. So by this way, it is coming out to be 12. Okay, now length is done. We can try car length and character length also. And then later on, we'll move to concat part. So write car ditto same rector underscore length again ditto same now let's move on to the concat part so how are we going to merge we can merge any two strings let's suppose we merge name and age only first of all remove this new display column on cat what do we want to merge we want to merge name and after that name we want to merge i um id or age will merge a age only as a new string uh, out why it is not giving out is not a valid in this position okay let's display it without out 
okay out might be some different um, we can say that out is already declared with some purposes that's why it is not working we can give it a different name name okay so this is working shahid 23 so this is a way of concatenating we can concatenate string um, spaces also between them okay so this is a way for concatenating strings coming over to the next one give a pause continue so our next one is concat ws if i'm not wrong yes concat ws before writing i'll tell you the slight difference which i was talking about so in concat ws what we write this is the basic word and then here we give a string and later on we give another strings so the first string is important it is not same as the another two strings or three strings this string is written after every string that is uh, i'll give you one example and help you understand in that only say if it is concat underscore ws so if i give hi as my base string and then name and then age so what will happen firstly it would be name then hi then age then hi okay where it is shahid yes on cat ws it is shahid sorry sid then hi and then later on it is 24 um why so why not another string if i put hello shahid hi hello hi okay after every string right because this was not a string so that's why it didn't display after hello so this is concat had i written here um, bye and nothing here so it would have displayed bye hi hello okay so this is the way coming over to the next one that is l trim okay so if we talk about l trim we'll straight away write l trim and uh, for l trim we can straight away give a string hi see every time it is displaying this only from students leave it select this only okay hi it is giving if i don't write this normally then see these spaces are coming put a control coming over to our trim if i put a space over here you can see the space after this is getting removed now you'll be like okay there is no change i'll show you the change see this column is getting so much bigger but if i write our trim see the size difference hope this is working yes uh, okay this is large because of the name as name okay but if i don't put this see this name has been elongated okay this is the difference which i was talking about our trip okay coming over to the next one what is the next thing i'm sorry that is trim okay trim as i told you it is a mixture of both l trim and r trim see and if i don't put here anything it would be uh, so many spaces then high then spaces but if i put trim it will trim from both left and right side okay so this is our trim coming over to the next one what is the next one next one is position okay let's study position now so if we want position okay 
position of say for i want position of hi and it would be written like this in hello bye and then hi as anything we'll keep the name as anything this time okay anything so position is 10 how first is h next is e then next is l then next is second l which is fourth position then this is fifth then this space is six then b is seven y is eight this is nine and h is ten so if you try to find a string it will give the index from where that string starts even if you try to add one more high then also it will give 10 only okay because it will give you the position of first found string coming over to the next one the next one is locate before locate i'll tell you instr then i'll tell you locate so first one is instr now the syntax here is a bit different hello and uh, after this we write hi okay this is 10 so we'll give uh, two more spaces in order to uh, show the difference between them so this is instr now why i told you i'll tell you later the locate one now we come to locate one locate also has a third parameter if you don't give that third parameter it will work the same as instr which i thought it didn't work okay i guess we need to pass the third parameter the third parameter let's suppose we keep it zero okay it is not printing anything okay got it it should have worked like this again there is it works like this this place is for the string which we are searching this is the string in which we are searching and now if you don't want to put this third parameter it should give 12 yeah correct and what is this third parameter which i'm talking about you can also specify the place from where it should start searching now you know that this is the 12th position where you found your h hi so if you want that you want to search after 12 positions you can write here 12 it will give you the position of neck position of first high which starts after 12th position see if we keep 13 yes so uh, it was i guess before that so for 13 see it is not giving this one it is giving the position of this high okay hope you like this video if you liked it please do share and subscribe our channel Thank you.